Hi, this is a presentation about lithium toxicity. We're going to talk a little bit about acute lithium toxicity and then we're going to mainly talk about chronic lithium toxicity and accumulation. I'll put all the sources that I use to make this video in the description below. So the first thing to note is that chronic lithium toxicity is much worse than acute and I'll come on to why that is. Let's talk about acute lithium toxicity first. So these people who have acute overdoses of lithium, as long as it's less than 25 grams, almost always do very well with minimal medical intervention. This is because lithium takes a long time to equilibrate between the blood and the brain. So when you take an acute overdose, a lot of the lithium will get cleared by the kidneys before the uh, lithium has a chance to build up in the central nervous system and cause toxicity. The main treatment is fluid and we prefer to use uh, normal saline. So sodium chloride is good because if your so serum sodium is low, then your body will also retain lithium as well as sodium because they're quite similar structures. There are a few cases where you might need to use hemodialysis and I'll just touch on the indications for this in acute toxicity. One would be a very high level of greater than five. Another would be something like coma or a seizure. But in almost all cases, you just need to give fluids and the kidneys will clear the lithium. Now, chronic lithium toxicity is a completely different story from acute. It's much more harmful. Outcomes are much worse. The causes are various things that affect uh, lithium clearance. The first thing to note is that it might just be because of a recent dose increase. The second one is that we might have had a new uh, nephrotoxic medication started like an ACE inhibitor or a non steroidal anti-inflammatory. The third one we might have some other cause of renal impairment like diarrhea and vomiting causing hypovolemia. And then finally, we get this phenomenon called nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. And what happens is the lithium basically causes the kidneys to be less sensitive to ADH and they become less good at retaining water. And so you get huge volumes of urine produced each day, say three liters or five liters. That's normally okay if the person can drink enough water to replenish that fluid, but if they can't, then it's a big problem. Now, the higher your lithium level is, the worse it is for you. Any level that is greater than 3.5 millimoles per litre is suggestive of a severe toxicity. The reason why the level is more important in chronic lithium toxicity is that the level in the blood is probably the level in the brain. So what are the effects of lithium toxicity? Well, most of them are in the central nervous system. We could start with a tremor. We also might get hyperreflexia, ataxia, we get rigid limbs, we could get drowsiness, that progresses to confusion, coma, uh, seizures, and then even death. So those are the central nervous system effects. We also have a couple of cardiovascular effects to be aware of. One of them is bradycardia, another is hypotension, and then the third one is QT prolongation. Coming on to the GI effects, we basically just have nausea and vomiting. So that's all the main effects of lithium toxicity. So what is the treatment for chronic lithium toxicity. Well, the first thing is fluids. And again, we prefer normal saline because the more sodium you have, the less lithium you retain. Once you've been giving saline, you might need to start thinking about dialysis, especially if the level is high and they've got signs of toxicity. We're aiming for a level of less than one minimal per liter. And you've got to be aware that you get a rebound uh, increase in the lithium levels. So what happens is you dialyze all of the lithium out of the serum, but then the lithium in the other body tissues redistribute into the serum and it can take several days of dialysis to actually get your levels below one and staying that way. And then you need some time off lithium and the lithium, if it's going to be restarted, has to be restarted at a lower dose than before.